Hi everyone and welcome back to the shack for a final update on the ZX Bear Emulator PCB which I've been working on and testing for the last month or so and I can finally announce that I will be doing a small production run of these as there's been some interest in the comments. Further details later on in the video. For now though this is the last prototype and production boards will differ in only two ways. Firstly there's still a misaligned hole as I forgot to correct that. And secondly, I'll be popping in some pads over here to run to a surface mount micro SD card in case you wanted to solder in a more permanent solution using a micro SD breakout board, which is what I'll probably do. If not, you can just run a cable and glue the socket down as I did previously. So here's the board with all the key bits soldered on, apart from the secondary micro USB socket for power. This will stay in the same place on the production board, but the tracks on the back will be a little wider to accommodate the current more efficiently. Thanks to those who suggested that in the comments. You'll also notice that these boards will all be hand finished with only the very finest tea towels, which is a nice touch and will be at no extra cost. Aren't I nice? The parts we need to finish putting this together are of course the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus and then these M2.5 screws and nuts to secure the Pi to the PCB and the bridge board with the headers already soldered on to join the PCB to the Pi. So let's put it all together. Now, as mentioned earlier, here's where the final product will have some solder pads that run to a fixed micro SD card slot should you want a more permanent solution. Right, let's fit this into a Spectrum Plus case and make sure that it all fits flush. Cue the music. Just a quick reminder that this little project was made possible by my Patreon and Ko-Fi supporters. Links are on the main banner if you want to help support the channel. And also our sponsors, PCBWay, who are running a fantastic PCB design project at the moment. Pop by their website and take a look at the contest details. You get a free ESP32 microcontroller just for entering. And who knows, you might just invent something game-changing. So as you can see, in this Spectrum Plus case we have easy access to all of the Pi ports and also to the magic button and the additional power socket if fitted, along with where the relocated SD card solution would go. Well, with that looking good, let's see if it still fits in the much smaller 48K Spectrum case. To test this, I'll be using this replica Spectrum case from Retro Radionics, which is currently housing my Sisyph 5112K, reviewed a little while ago on the channel. These cases are 100% compatible with Speccy 16K, 48K and Plus mainboards, so are a great replacement if you've damaged yours beyond repair. And here again we can see that this fits nicely in the case and all of the ports are nicely accessible. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be ordering a small production run, but I do need some help from you folk first, and that's with regard to what colour to make the board. I like the purple, I like the red, and I like the blue, so I've popped a little poll on the community tab for you to vote for your favourite. Please only vote if you're actually interested in getting one of these, and you're not that fussed if your colour choice doesn't win out for this first batch. Doing this will give me a feel for the number to order and of course the funky colour to order in. Once the PCBs have been received, I'll be putting the PCBs themselves along with a parts bag up on the new RetroShack Tindy shop, which is currently being created and populated. I'll post a link on the community tab when we're ready to go. This project has given me some really invaluable experience with PCB layout and design and it's inspired me to pursue other projects too and hopefully it will inspire you to do the same. After all, if I can do it, so can you. Right, thanks for watching, there'll be another couple of videos later this week as I've been waiting for some parts to arrive and I think I have everything I need to get a few things done. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below as we always love to read them. And until next time in the shack, it's goodbye from me.